This picture might look cute, but it's actually one of the most disturbing things you'll ever see. I'm about to tell you one of the most messed up stories you've never heard of. So this guy, Dr. Kellogg, had the question I'm sure all of us have had at least once. What would happen if you raised a human without teaching it a language or having it around any other humans? Like a nature versus nurture kind of thing. It's one thing to think it, it's another to be on CPS's watch list. So this guy had a human son, Donald, that he raised with a female chimpanzee he adopted named Gua. So he treated 10-month-old Donald and 7-month-old Gua the same in ways that would have had CPS, PETA, and the Geneva Convention pulling up. The experiment was weird. He would tap on both of their heads with a spoon just to hear the differences in the sound of their skulls. He would purposely make loud noises and provoke them just to see who would react first. At one point, he even spun Donald around on a high chair until he started crying. It got really dark really fast, especially when the human Donald started acting like his surrogate chimp sister, walking on all fours, being overly aggressive, and even biting people. It's a shame the Pikachu meme didn't exist back then. Donald would bark like Gua when he wanted food and refuse to walk on two feet even though he could. Eventually, the man who somehow graduated with a doctorate in psychology from Columbia realized that he was ruining his son. So he called the experiment off. The chimpanzee that they treated like a daughter and was part of their family, yeah, they packed her up and sent her away to be part of another experiment, where she was unalived by pneumonia a few months later. As for Donald, he grew to be an adult and eventually became a doctor, until he deleted himself at the age of 42. And to add insult to whatever seasoned hell this was supposed to be, if you go over to Dr. Kellogg's Wikipedia, he was described as a guy who had no tolerance for those who were unethical. Moral of this video, Thanos should start a GoFundMe. I'm starting to think he was onto something.